Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks, it's Jaeger262, and this is going to be that PSA video where I get on my soapbox and talk about what I think about the World of Tanks community, whether or not I think it is really toxic, or if it's just about player relations, and just right off the bat, if you don't want to see this video, don't worry about it, you don't have to watch it. In the background there's just going to be some Sirocco gameplay. Uh, well, I had one of my viewers mention to me that he appreciates that I don't put all my best gameplay forward and not all this Unicum stuff that other players put on YouTube. And I jokingly said that it's because I'm not really a great player. That's kind of what this video is about. We both play, me and the viewer both play the game for fun. And so you'll get to see that in this Rocco video, that I'm very bad at this Rocco. I don't appreciate the Tank Destroyer, and you get to see me die a lot. So if you like honest gameplay, you like laughing at other players that are maybe not as good, enjoy now, the stat shaming part of this, which comes from the introduction of in-game stats or win rate stats into the game, it originated when XVM, which for those people who don't know, is a third-party software that measured how many people play the game, or not how many people, how many battles a player has put into the game, in what vehicles, and how many times they had won. And so a lot of players in top tiers will use it no matter what tier they're in, this is the problem. To stat shame players will say, oh, you're a bad player because you have this many battles in this tank and this you can't win more than 50% of them. Or they'll see your overall win rate and count how many battles you have in your entire career. And they just beat people up about it. And it discourages a lot of new players from playing the game. And that is incredibly toxic. It's why a lot of people have left the game, especially my Armored Warfare guys. And, you know, for me it never bothers me. And that's going to be my first topic on this PSA. For any new players, don't let win rate bother you. There are so many factors that go into that win rate. In fact, my best vehicles have a win rate in the 50s because I'm just playing this game to have fun, and if I'm really good at the tank, I don't care what the team does. And that's the second part. This game is heavily based on teamwork. And if you can't communicate with your team or you're having a bad or your team's having a bad day, you're having a bad day and it's just not working out, you're gonna lose the game. That happens. Especially in random battle, which is the most common form of battle in World of Tanks. It's random players random people you're not going to communicate well you're not going to do a lot well especially at low tiers you're just going to lose some that's okay don't let people especially people who are seal clubbing and that term means people who like are like me play all the way at the top tiers we get bored and we want to start playing in the lower tier and we take advantage of inexperienced players to secure better win rates for ourselves or just have a good time which is what i do it for because i love low tier vehicles a lot more than the op high tier ones then we get mad at low tier players. Well, that's a problem because that's why you're low tier. You're learning. It's some random battles and you're learning. So don't worry about those people. That would be my tip. My first tip, my first solution. People will always stat shame. People will always look at your stats and say you're a bad player and shame you for it. Ignore them. If you play a tank that you really enjoy and you're still learning how to play that tank or that tank class, only focus on yourself and play it. That's the biggest thing. That's what World of Tanks is for. It is a game. It is not real life. Take time to enjoy it and don't let other people get you down or bring you down because of it. Because what they're doing is they're just venting their own frustrations into the game. They're putting it on less experienced players to compensate for the loss or the drop in their own win rate. And that's not fair. Don't worry about them. Take everything they say with a grain of salt. It's random battles, which means they don't know you and you probably will never see them again. So don't worry about them. I have been I used to do this a lot when I first started playing, and I had a lot of people yell at me or message me outside of a game and say that I did bad or what I did wrong or that I shouldn't play or that I should le delete my account. Just sit back, relax, and don't let it get to you. Maybe you take a break from the game, but keep playing. It's just a game. However, the fact that it's a game is part of why people get so angry and that's going to be my second point. People like me play games to escape the real world issues. And so whenever I have a really bad day, like at work or at home, and I'm just, I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm going to play a game. And I'm going to put all that frustration into the game and take it out on the game and go, oh, the team was wrong, or oh, this tank sucks, or oh, I didn't do good enough, and all this. And it's just therapeutic. It's like, oh, well, I put all that stuff into the game. Now it's fine, and I can, I can move on with my day. And because of that, and that's not bad, this is why I don't think the World of Tanks community is as toxic. Stat shaming is really toxic, and top-tier players 
um, really messing up lower tier players or yelling at them for things is bad because that discourages them from coming back, even though that's what we're supposed to do is encourage them to play better, not, you know, attack them for being bad. But that's where a lot of it comes from is the fact that we are just putting our frustrations in the game. There's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. And that's why I'm saying take it with a grain of salt. Yes, I do in a lot of cases, and this is why I've stopped doing it, and I encourage other players not to do it. Don't blame it on the team, and if you do, keep it to yourself. Don't blame other players ever. That's my one rule. No matter how mad I get at the game, which is why I play it so that way I can vent my anger, I will never get mad at a specific player, and I will never tell them to do something different unless it's constructive. That is one solution that will make this game better for new ki new players and welcome them because it's a little unwelcoming when all these people are just yelling at them. I'm never ever gonna get a damn of the tanks where I don't get frustrated, I don't get angry, and there's probably a lot of players who share that with me. And some of the games you're watching me play right now, I just very frustrated, and though I blame this this tank destroyer because I hate it. Um, and I get very angry. That's why I'm playing the game so I can get angry somewhere that's not the real world. Because so I'm not gonna go out into the real world and start screaming at things or like screaming at my computer, screaming at my car, and screaming at other people, because that would make me a lunatic. But I can do it in the game, because the game is fake. So for new players who are encountering this, just remember that. Take that with a grain of salt. And for the people doing it, like myself, remember that it is just a game, and that's the point. Have fun, and if you're going to vent frustrations and anger into it, that's fine. That's part of having fun, because that's therapeutic. That's the reason games exist. But don't attack specific players and don't attack teams, especially at the low tier. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I know this problem happens a lot in the higher tiers as well. In fact, it happens way more in the higher tiers. And this is my third and final point here. Of about why I don't think we're toxic, but why I think there's some things that we can do. And my biggest thing here is just be mindful of other players. For the newer lines that are more difficult to play, like the Polish and Italian lines or the Swedish lines... You could get to tier 7 and have no idea what you're doing in that line because every tank before it was radically different than the tank that preceded it and you didn't learn anything. Or you can play a tank stock and not know what you're doing. Or be really good at, say, Russian heavies and go, oh, you know, I want to forward into American mediums and then you really suck. Or like me playing the Soraka right now go, hey, I only play German heavy tanks. It'll be fun playing a weakly armored French tank destroyer and then I play it wrong. People play tanks wrong at all tiers. Just because you're at high tiers doesn't mean you're a great player. And so people who are great players at high tiers will continuously bash and beat up people at those tiers just because they assume if you're at high tier, you should be a better player to have higher standards. The fact is, that's not true. Just don't do that. The game and the mechanics in the game with certain tanks for certain players, everybody has a class that they like, will prevent people from being really great at certain vehicles. That's okay, it's a game. This is this is the whole thing, this is the whole PSA, so I'm going to wrap it up now. The whole PSA is this. It's a game. Not everybody's going to be good at it because they're just here to have fun, just like me. And that's why you'll see all this gameplay here is bad. I'm not trying to be the best player in the world. I'm trying to enjoy a game. That's why I also only play random battle. I don't do ranked battles, I don't do front lines. I just want to have fun. Two, I will vent my anger to the game. That's just part of my life, that's why I play it. But it's not other people's fault that I'm angry or that I'm playing the game upset. Those are things that came out of my life. I'm not going to blame them for it, and you shouldn't either. And three, I like playing unique vehicles, even ones I'm really bad at, like the Sirocco, because I think they're special, even though I have no idea how to play them. That's because I want to have fun and play different things. I don't want to play the same vehicles I'm good at all the time just to boost my win rate. Don't beat up people who do that. Don't beat up people for having fun and trying new things. That's the point of the game. We should encourage players to do those things. We should encourage them to try. And if you're going to beat up the game or put your frustrations into it, don't take it on other players. And I know this has been a long-winded video, and I know that this is preachy, but I personally don't think World of Tanks is that toxic. I just think that there's some things that we as players can all do to be a little bit more mindful, especially to newer players, or generally, as a rule of thumb, the lower tiers, to just remember... They're still learning. People are doing this for fun. Not everybody's really competitive. Not everybody's trying to be the best World of Tanks player in the world. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Play the game. Try to have fun with it. I get angry at it. I know a lot of people get angry with it. That's okay. Just don't get angry at each other. Alright? 
Sorry for the long-winded video. Hopefully you like the gameplay or the topic. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. That really helps support the channel and really helps me continue to make videos like this. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to get more or if you want to get notifications for any of the new videos I'm going to make, i.e., all the reviews I'm going to do for the black market vehicles and the Firefly and all that. It, I really appreciate the support. And let me know in the comment section below, real quick, before I finish this video. Let me know. Do you think World of Tanks is really toxic as a community or not? And if you do, why? Or if you don't, why? And share some stories. Love interacting with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this issue. If you think maybe I hit all the three major points, or if I didn't hit enough and I didn't say enough, let me know what you think about what I said. Bottom line for me is, just be mindful of other players' experiences, no matter what you do in the game, and just watch out for yourself. Just take everything with a grain of salt and try to have fun. And only worry about you. Don't let other people get on your back about it. Don't let other people bring you down in the game. Because there's no reason for it. That's what games are. That's why video games exist. We play them to escape and just have fun. And do stuff we couldn't do in real life. And so let it be that way. Let it be fun. So, that's it. That's the end of my soapbox video. That I'll get off my little box here. I'll stop preaching. Thank you so much for watching. Sincerely. And as always, I will see you next time.